day was spending time. Come on. He said, that's why you would see others will walk heavy in God. They can say something and something that happened. He said, because they've been spending time. That's the evidence to know when somebody been spending time. They pray in heaven back them up. Because heaven say, oh, that's, 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 that's them talking. Oh, that's Robert talking. I, I hear Robert. And you over here praying too and say, well, we don't recognize this voice. I know you, but I, I really don't know you. I don't know you enough. I'm finna move all heaven for you. Come on. That is good. I heard one need to buy and preach the message. Say God had her going on a seven day, ten day fast, and she crying and she's not coming all out of no because she believed in God to move, the hand of God to move in her situation. She said, but you got somebody over here that ain't fast now one day. Come on now, expect me, God. Don't move on their behalf. Say, so you telling me God gonna have me to go through a fast where well, I ain't eat, where well, I can't go where you go, and I can't do what you doing, know, and you can go ahead and live any kind of way you think God gonna do the same thing that he gonna do for me? No! Come on now. Amen. The Bible said that he responds by his word. Yes. Come on now. If we don't have that word on the inside of us, it ain't coming up our mouth. Come on now. He ain't going to respond. Amen. He ain't moved by a pity party. Amen. He ain't moved because somebody picking on you. On. Somebody lied on you. He ain't moved by that. He's moved by his word. Yes. Right. yes. Come on now. He's trying to teach us that we got power. He tells us in the word over and over again that we got power, but we ain't operating in that authority. Come on. Walk in heaven. Yeah. And we come and we say, well, I don't know what to say. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know what to pray. Come on. Amen. Amen. Got no word. Yeah. And sometimes it will be like that when you're going through something. Mm -hmm. But that shouldn't be the case always. Come on. Huh? Amen. Because if we read the word and we spend a time with him, we're going to have something to say. Amen. It's too much going on in the world not to have nothing to say. Amen. Too much going on in our everyday lives Amen. for us not have nothing to say. Amen. We're dealing with stuff all the time and we ain't saying Amen. nothing. That's what he said. We, you're dealing with so much, but you ain't saying that You're just sitting there taking it. Your prayers do not oppose what the enemy is throwing at you. Where is the resistance? Why are you resisting what the enemy is coming at you with? He said, we take too much. We deal with too much and we sit and be silent. Where is the resistance? Come on. Come on. Prayer should oppose. Come on. It should come up against whatever's coming at you. Prayer should counteract whatever coming at you. Say, but we ain't saying nothing. Amen. We ain't saying nothing. And then he said, when we do saying something, we ain't really saying nothing. Oh, 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 wow. Come on. Oh. Because all it is complaining. Come on. That's it. But never the solution. Oh. See, prayer is supposed to be the solution. Come on. Because when we've been in that time with it, because I'm going to show you in the word, it showed that when Jesus was in a hard place, he went and heard from the Father. Yes. How many of us in the place where we can hear and get direction from the Father how to deal with the situation? He said, because we face so many situations and we say, I don't know what to do. Amen. What should I do? Amen. Can you tell me what I need to do? Come on. He Amen. said, but if you spend time with me, because Jesus said, I do nothing unless the Father reveals it to me. I don't do nothing unless the Father tells me. So the same way that Jesus is our example, that's how we go. Uh -huh. That's how we flow. Uh -huh. I can't make this decision unless I first hear from the Father. I can't respond to this unless I first hear from the Father. How do I hear from the Father spending time? But see, we don't want to get to that place of being prostrate. We don't want to take the time to go say, well, God, I ain't got enough time in my day. It seems like you require too much of me. Everything just so busy. I just got so much to do. I'm wearing so many hats. I'm bad at it. I'm the work call. I got I to gotta go pick up the kids. I got to go to a meeting. I, I, I got to do I gotta do this. I got to cook. I got to clean. it. I got to be in the Cause I got choir practice, then I got dancing, you know, and then I'm trying to lose weight, so I got to go to the gym because I got this membership. He said, "But you find time for all this." He said, "But do you find time for me?" Come on, come on, you in the house? Let's go on now. 
Because when we go join that, 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 that gym, we make time to make sure. Because you know what? I don't like long night exercises, but I really want this weight off. But we're going to do what we're going to do because we really want that weight off because I want to look fine because I'm trying to get me a hood. I'm going to cut back on these carbs because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get back in that dress that I had when I was in high school. Come on. And we're going to make those efforts. Come on now. And we're going we gonna to master that. But when it comes down to the things of God, we're looking for an answer. Are we willing to wrestle with it? Are we willing to get in that place where I ain't moving until I hear an answer? Because I need to know what is my next move? Where do I go from here? Because too many of us will go on and we'll make a decision and we'll say, Lord, how did I get here? How did I find myself here? You find yourself there because you didn't first seek him. Come on, right now. That's it. There been plenty of times I done made a decision and I looked to God and I'm angry with God. How you let this happen to me? Amen. Uh -huh. The Bible said we perish for the lack of knowledge. Yes. Yes. Then get the knowledge right. in the word to say, okay, how do I deal with this? Come on. You look in the back of that book right there, and that Bible is just about talk about every situation that you can deal with. Right. You got an app on your phone, you can go and Google it. Oh. Whatever you're dealing with, it ain't no excuse no more. Oh. Come on now, somebody. Uh, you go and go to Google and type it in. Oh. It's just as simple as that. Huh? And it'll pop up right there. Every, everything you just about think of, every source, even if it's God or not God, they're going to come up. Yeah. Come on. Right. Are we seeking? Mm. Huh? Amen. Are we seeking for the answer? Mm -hmm. Or we just sit and go on in that vicious cycle? Year done went by. Months done went by. We still dealing with it because we still trying to figure out how I'm going to get this down. Huh? How I'm going to get this down. Amen. Huh? Without even asking the creator. That's it.